Hey everybody, welcome back to another video in the F-15 Eagle against the F-14 Tomcat. You know, the F-14 is a fairly old jet, well, the F-15 as well, but it's very capable, the F-14. Into the merge here. The interesting thing about this fight, oh, he's pulling me in, trying to take some shots. He's uh, off the bat trying to be really aggressive. The interesting thing about both those jets is they are very powerful with the thrust uh, capabilities that they have. So they're not afraid of using the vertical and stuff like that. The F-14 does have its issues. It's a little bit older platform, so sometimes it can compress or stall and stuff like that. Pulling in to try to avoid his nose. He's trying to pull me in. Oh, there it is. Wow. He is really aggressive right off the bat, which is, I think, a good call. And I got to think of that, uh, you know, you see a bunch of uh, how-to BFM and stuff like that. In real life situation, I don't think you can follow the steps. I think it's basically guidelines, actually. I don't think you have the fuel or the time, actually, in real life. I don't know, it's just a theory that I have. That's why I think he's doing a good job being very aggressive right off the bat. I guess in real life you would like to finish this fight as fast as possible and take the initiative and not being reactionary. I don't think you can wait like me right now to picking up the speed and wait for the circle like that to be perfect. I don't know. Just my opinion. But essentially, this is this is what I'm doing right now. I am pulling a little bit more of it, uh, putting a more G's on the jet here, because I'm trying to offset the circles a little bit. So I'm climbing up and putting my nose down because he's trying to pull me in. So I'm trying to deny that, not giving him the opportunity. So by offsetting the circle, I'll be able to let him bleed more energy if he's gonna try to pull me in with if you can see his looks like he's really slow right now so uh, mission accomplished in that one try to offset the circle makes him pull up a little bit and try to pull me in he's pulling hard on the stick that's why he loses his energy i'm coming around the circle now it's gonna take me a little bit longer than a regular raid fight because i did offset the circles He's still trying to be very much aggressive, so he's going to lose that energy. Uh, it's time for me to pull. There we go. You see he's slow across the deck, and I'm going to pull him in. I'm going to have him in the HUD right now. Now he's defensive. Put the pipper on him. He's fully defensive now, trying to uh, jink and basically dodge my nose but he's very slow there it is all of the rounds into the spine of the jet and something is falling off yeah all right splash tomcat oof Merged again with the Tomcat, he's using much more of the vertical now. I think it's an interesting fight between the Eagle and the Tomcat. Oh, dodge it. Try to present a thin profile there, he's still very aggressive. The interesting fight between those two fighters is... Well, Hydraulics oh, failure. that's why. Because if Hydraulics you'll do a mistake, he'll pull you in. And, yeah, splash you. Ooh, elite turn. Quite a bit. It looks like he's gonna be slower. That's why I'm gonna be somewhat inside. He's gonna be inside my turn circle. Oh, there we go.
need to watch for them for those stuff when a jet has is inside your turn circle there's a few options you can dodge his nose by uh, dumping your nose or climbing over dumping your nose actually is not recommended if you have altitude because then you'll gain speed so you'll extend away into the downward spiral here and it's all about lift vector placement and one other thing which i'm going to do right now because looks like he's struggling a little bit so i'm going to stay up here a little bit longer here we go wings level pull up roll lift vector on his high six not actually but somewhat and we're going to take his six he's in front there it is That maneuver is really easy to pull if you see someone struggling with a one circle fight, which the F-14 can definitely do, but I saw him a little bit struggling with the control over the jet, which, yeah, because it's an F-14, sometimes you'll get that. So he's a little bit more in front now. I can be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, close. And now it's all about managing the energy to stay behind him. He's fully defensive now, and he's dropping his nose, so he's going to be faster. I did it later, so he'll be in front of me. There it is. He's going to try to jink and make me overshoot. Actually, no, he's going into the raid fight, which is a smart idea. He had the altitude. He has the option to drop his nose and gain the speed, and I'm very slow, so he chose the perfect time to do so. He's already half across the circle and I need to somewhat recover my speeds. He's actually doing very well. I'm, get, I'm still getting my speeds and I'm somewhat defensive now. That was a perfect timing for going to the raid fight. I just didn't see it coming. That's the nose coming in. Okay, let's pull, pull hard out of plane and uh, that might be a little bit too early, but I'm trying to make him overshoot. It's working. Oh, yo, close. Because I pulled too early, I had to pull harder in order for him Basically, for the plane to stay still, uh, I need to avoid the ground and guarantee his overshoot, but now I'm fully defensive. Yep, he just did a loop and come back around. Okay, back to the raid fight, but I don't have speeds at all. Oh, no, he's pulling me in. Okay, let's try to... Um, Left nah. engine fire. Yep. My bad. Right engine fire. Oh, good fight. To the merge again one circle he came a lot faster than before and i need to pull some g's on the jet let's reverse here with a little bit of a lead turn he definitely went down but i lost visual he's definitely down there i'll put my nose down where is he just crossed my nose trying to come back around he stayed in the one circle so that's actually lucky for me that uh, he stayed in the one circle while I lose sight. I was slower and he just climbed up. So again, trying to make him be in front, which is, he kind of is. He's, he's more defensive now than I am. There it is. He's going to cross my nose. Almost. The Eagle is such a great platform for air to air. But don't forget, the F-14 made for the exact same purpose. So even though it's older, it's still very capable and very threatened. You need to be alert while fighting that thing. He can pull his nose very surprisingly into the raid fight. Well, he is fully defensive, so he's trying to get his energy now. But I'm uh, going to do the same. And the Eagle can get his speeds really fast. And here we go, in my rate, rate speeds already. Just to position myself correctly, he's probably going to pull hard to try uh, high aspect shots. Looks like he's doing right now. I'm just going to stay committed to the raid fight in my raid speeds. 
it looks like he's outridding me, but he's not. He's just pulling harder on the stick, which actually gonna make me take his six o'clock faster. There you go, coming around. There it is. Got his six, guns, got a hit. He's still flying, trying to reverse. That's fine, he's still in front. Okay, let's try to make a clean shot here. Ooh, he's desperately trying to make me overshoot. We're both so slow. Just one good gun on him. Ah. Uh, oh, vertical stabilizer fell on off. I'll take it. He's losing control. All right. Splash. Both such a great fighters. Both the Eagle and the Tomcat. That was cool. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Bye.